that's that's my dream right there, be a basketball player. I first heard about Derek um, when I got a call from Anoka County and I found out that he had a pretty rough childhood. Uh, his mom died when he was five. He also had a brother that um, was shot and killed too that had a big effect on Derek. He had gotten into some trouble and he needed a place to live. Oh, I like throwing strikes. And scoring it. <laughs> John was um, living at home with his mom his whole life and his mom was aging and she needed a little bit more care and support so she actually moved into a nursing home and that's when we matched up John with the Schwankies. I won a gold medal and I won a silver medal at state championships. Charlie lived independently in the community with three other gentlemen and it was a little bit too independent of a setting for him and he needed some more structure and support and so um, we actually matched him up with the Schwankies as well. Not only did John and Charlie have um, the Schwankies as a support but they also have each other and that's really really neat to see is their relationship and how that's blossomed and how that's grown and the impact that they've had on each other um, living together. Host Homes is a new initiative by Lutheran Social Service where a family in the community opens their home to somebody with a disability. Um, and it's a really neat option because it provides a family type setting for people with disabilities. And sometimes um, they might not have that, so they are able to be a part of a family. Faith plays a very important part of the whole process of what's happening with Host Homes and Derek and Lutheran Social Service. Um, host homes just kind of right at that time just seemed to be there in the whole program. Things just fell into place where Derek the very next week came into uh, my, our family's life and it's just been a blessing ever since. Now that Derek's moved in with Tamika, he has quite a few things and opportunities that he didn't have before. Um, he has his own room, which he's very proud about, and he has a little sister. I never had a little sister there in my life. And I want to treat her, be the big brother next to her. Play basketball, read books to her, and then I want to look, I want to see her look up to me. Like a big brother. I tell them I want you to feel free to talk to me, and if you ever get out there and get in trouble, call me, I'll come for you. She like my coach, like my mom, be aware of my mom, helping me, everything I need to be helped. She, she took me in. I thank for her every single day, like a mom. Derek refers to me as mom because I know that he lost his mother. It touched my heart that he looks at me uh, as a mother figure. I love getting the phone calls when, you know, Tamika calls me and she's like, Derek called me mom, and it just, it, it breaks your heart, but you're so happy at the same time, um, knowing what Derek went through and those types of things, but that he's finally, he has a mom. He hasn't had a mom for how many years, but, but now he does, and it's, it's truly amazing. I think one of the greatest things about Host Homes and why I do what I do is to see and hear those success stories and be a part of that. And knowing that I can share those stories with others to try to make a difference in somebody else's life. How many lives can I touch? How many different people can experience host homes and have the you know, similar experiences to the people that are already being supported? I do what I do because of John and Charlie and Derek and um, because they deserve the best. And it's, it's so rewarding to see when that happens.